Hello and welcome to this talk, Saturday the 13th of January. Now I want to be talking about disease X in a minute from a small radio station in Switzerland called Radio Davos, I think it was. More on that shortly, but a bit of a disappointment first. This is from the UK COVID inquiry. And unfortunately, the uh, public hearings for the inquiry's fourth investigation into vaccines and therapeutics module will be rescheduled. The hearings were provisionally scheduled to take place in the summer of 2024. They will now take place at a later date. And then the summer rationale given there, which you may choose to accept or not to enable organisations to prioritise providing evidence for the inquiry's third investigation into the impact of the pandemic on healthcare. Well, I would have thought um, they knew what order this was in before they did this, but never mind. That's what they've said. This is from the site here. Um, this is from Baroness Hallett, who's the chair of the inquiry. I know that the postponement of these hearings will be a disappointment for some. Yes, it will. And I think there's a degree of urgency, as I'll point out. Um, I want to ensure our hearings of uh, in 2024 are as effective as possible. Well, yes. And I recognise the increasing pressure on organisations to respond to requests and provide information to the inquiry. Now, I would have thought they'd known that when they scheduled the inquiry at the first place. Um, maybe um, they've had to reschedule this because there was some new information came to light. We, we, we're basically not told, which is disappointing. But we are assured it's going to be finished by uh, the summer of 2026. So let's hope there is time to squeeze in this uh, rather important uh, module because it's not on as scheduled, unfortunately. So I had been genuinely looking forward to that and it's pretty disappointing that that is now being delayed. Now, I want to give you something from the Mail Online now that I'm just hoping they don't know more than we do about it because they actually say uh, COVID inquiries probe into vaccines is delayed indefinitely. Indefinitely, they're saying. Well, let's hope that's not the case. Uh, as chair admits, postponement will be a disappointment for some. Yes. Um, hearing for the fourth module of this is from the from the mail online now hearing of the fourth module of the official inquiry to be what, what, what it was set of the official inquiry were set to begin this summer. A long awaited probe into the development of covid vaccines and drugs was today postponed. And again, they say indefinitely here. So let's hope this is not the case. Baroness Hallett says, I know the postponement will be a disappointment. I wish to reassure you that we will hold these hearings as soon as possible. Good. We'll look out for it. Uh, but we're still going to be finished by the summer of 2026. So let's hope there's time. Now, this inquiry has cost you and me, the plodetariat, the plebeians. Uh, so far, it's cost us £145 million. Um, Quite incredible. Now, um, I'm going to talk about disease X in a minute, but just before we do that, um, this is just a completely unrelated uh, article I was reading in the Guardian newspaper from November 2022. This is Paul Burrell, who was a royal but butler. And Paul Burrell reported a conversation with Her Majesty the Queen prior to her sad recent uh, uh, departure. Uh, and Paul Burrell reports that the Queen said this, Queen Elizabeth said this, there are powers at work in this country about which we have no knowledge. So uh, it looks like uh, there are powers at work, uh, but we don't know what they are. So in Donald Rumsfeld terms, this would be a known unknowns, I guess. Now, I want to talk now about disease X, which is on uh, this website here. This is the uh, World Economic Forum site, as far as I can uh, derive. Disease X, this is how we should prepare for the next big virus. Wow. So uh, this you can listen to it here or you can um, read it there. It's all very easy to understand while being rather uh, difficult to understand. Now, Disease X, um, I've been teaching this sort of thing pretty well full time since 1990. And I've been a clinical nurse since 1975 when I was a first year student. And um, I'd never heard of this disease X. So I looked at some of my books because when I wrote my book, I couldn't remember putting it in. So it wasn't in there, but I could easily miss it, couldn't I? So I did check in uh, Ruben's pathology. These are the definitive texts. Couldn't see it in there either. 
so I checked in Guyton and Hall, superb physiology book. Not in there either. Um, uh, Porth's Pathophysiology. Um, no, not in there either. It's a fairly thick book. You think it could be in there somewhere. Um, you get the idea. Not in that one. I can hardly pick this one up. Pathophysiology. All these standard textbooks. Um, not in there. So it must be a new disease. Can't say I like the sound of a new disease. We've had a new disease already, haven't we? Anyway, um, this is just I want to give you some highlights from the um, the Radio Davos uh, talk. Disease X is looming. The world needs to be better prepared to tackle a future pandemic. And you'll see here that the text is from the World Economic Forum site. Um, they go on to say... Uh, by mapping viruses with the potential to become the next disease X, the global health community and governments, uh, the governments and governments can be more responsive the next time a pandemic looms. Looks like they're anticipating another pandemic here. Uh, global collaboration and adequate funding are needed to improve pandemic preparedness and ensure fast action to keep a viral outbreak at bay. Uh, it says you can get a long way being able to produce something. I'm not quite sure what's being produced, but you can produce something or other, something or other, that will target a novel virus before that virus even emerges. I assume here they're referring to repurposed drugs, which could be rolled out very quickly and uh, very cheaply and may be efficacious against a range of conditions. Maybe that's what they mean. But anyway, they're going to produce something. Um, can't read too much into that. All they say is something. Could even mean a vaccine. I, I don't know. Whatever they mean there. Um, anyway, that will target a novel virus before that, that, that virus even emerges. Hmm. Um, it's a virus we don't know yet, but we do know it's out there. Uh, do we? But we do know it's out there. Now, unfortunately... Much to my annoyance and your annoyance, I felt um, compelled to delete yesterday's um, video. My apologies. The, 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 the trick is to live to fight another day. Um, that, that's what, what we aim for. But the video I was doing yesterday was examining a particular virus uh, that was uh, experimentally used to infect mice, caused a disease of the brain, and on uh, at the, at the end of the study, none of the mice at the end of the study were alive anymore. None of them were alive anymore um, because a certain event had happened to them that made them not alive. Um, and that virus, my understanding from reading of the paper, was it had been, it evolved in cell cultures in a laboratory. So... As a result of going through cell cultures in a laboratory, the function of the virus had been uh, had been increased. It would appear it became a more functional virus. There was a function, and uh, there was potentially um, an increase, uh, maybe even a gain. Uh, anyway, but but um, we know it's out there, so um, they know it's out there. Uh, Obviously, they don't know a precise geographical location, but they know it's out there. Uh, and we know it has the potential to spill over from animal populations, potentially into humans. Well, yeah, there can be natural spillover events, of course. Uh, there can also be other origins of viruses. Perhaps mutate or adapt itself and then begin spreading and killing people faster than we can contain it. Um, carrying out research... And, oh, and vaccine development, carrying out research and vaccine development uh, for known viral families could impact humans, of which there are 25 viral families, they're saying, uh, would give humanity a decided advantage over the next disease, X. So who, who knows, maybe the World Economic Forum uh, will be good enough to uh, develop a vaccine for us great unwashed, so it's all ready for us. Um, I'll leave it with you. Read the article for yourself. It's all there. Um, 
It's all there. Yep. From Radio uh, Davos. Quite concerning, really, a disease X. They seem to think it's coming. Um, let's hope they don't know too much more than us. We'll leave it there. Thank you for watching.